In this video, we're going to take a look at subatomic particles. So by the end of this video, you will be able to describe the location and charges of electrons, protons, and neutrons in an atom. And you're also going to be able to determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons in an atom from the atomic number and mass number, which we will get from the periodic table. So let's start with the periodic table. So the periodic table of elements is a diagram that arranges all of the chemical elements in order of atomic number. For example, our first element here has an atomic number of one and it's hydrogen. And then that's followed with helium, which has an atomic number of two, then lithium atomic number three, beryllium atomic number four, and so on. And that actually goes all the way up to element number 118. A couple of other things with our periodic table here. Each of the rows is called a period. So that's just a bit of terminology to know. And then a group, so is a column going down. So this would be, say, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium going all the way down would be a group. We're going to come back and use that terminology in later videos. So it's worthwhile just kind of mentioning at this point. Now, the periodic table is amazing. It not only gives us information about atomic numbers, which we can use, but it also gives us lots of other information about the elements, some of which we'll come back and explore in future videos, as well as you might see them in uh, future chemistry courses. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into atomic structure. So uh, the, an atom has a nucleus, and this is our nucleus here in this atom. A nucleus is made up of protons, which are shown here in blue, and our neutrons, which are shown in red. Protons and neutrons are two types of subatomic particles. Protons have a positive charge, which is why they've got the plus symbol on them here. And neutrons are neutral, so they have no charge. Now, the other type of subatomic particle that's found in a atom is an electron. And electrons are found in specific energy levels that surround the nucleus. So you can see we've got two energy levels surrounding our nucleus here with these green little dots, which are representing our electrons. Electrons have a negative charge. So for example, this atom here is a carbon atom. And a carbon atom has six protons and six neutrons. And then if we count up the electrons, we've got one here and two here. And then we've got four more in the next energy level for six electrons total. So how do we come up with these numbers? How do we know that carbon has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons? Well, we get that information from the periodic table. And most periodic tables are set up very similar to what I have on the screen here in that the atomic number is pretty typically up in the top left-hand corner here. Now, sometimes it might be in a different spot on the periodic table, and a lot of periodic tables will come with a legend to tell you where to find things. So if you're not seeing it where you expect it, you might just want to double check and make sure. So our atomic number is up in the left-hand corner here. Um, we also have the H here, which is our chemical symbol. Underneath that, we have hydrogen written down, which is our chemical name. And then finally, underneath that, we've got 1.008, which is our atomic mass. And every element has a specific mass, and that's going to be really helpful for us to figure out the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in our atom. So how do we find the number of protons? I think this is a great place to start. 
because this is quite easy in that the atomic number is also an equal to the number of protons in an atom. So in hydrogen here, the atomic number is one. So that means that the number of protons in hydrogen is equal to the atomic number, which is equal to one. So it's fairly easy to come up with that. To find the number of electrons in a neutral atom, um, again, it's a fairly easy one to do because the atomic number is gonna be equal to the number of electrons as well. You gotta keep in mind though, this only applies to neutral atoms. In a different video, we'll take a look at when we don't have neutral atoms, what happens to the number of electrons. But for now, when something's neutral, it means that the positive and the negative charges are balancing each other out. So they have to be equal here. So for this one, the atomic number is equal to the number of electrons. And for hydrogen, that's also equal to one. Finally, to find the number of neutrons, this is a little bit trickier because we have to take the atomic mass. For hydrogen, it's 1.008. And then we wanna round that to the nearest whole number. And that's gonna give us something that we call the mass number. So the mass number is the atomic mass that's being rounded off to the nearest whole number. In this case, I would round this number to one. And so to find the number of neutrons, we're going to do the mass number minus the atomic number, and that will give us the number of neutrons. So let's see, in hydrogen, we have a mass number of one, we have an atomic number of one, which means that hydrogen actually has zero neutrons. Okay, so let's look at a couple more examples so we see how this works with some of our other elements. This one is for sulfur, which has the chemical symbol S. It's got an atomic number of 16, and it's got an atomic mass of 32.06. So to find the number of protons, we're doing the atomic number, which is equal to 16, the number of electrons, because we're talking about a neutral atom, is also equal to the atomic number, which is equal to 16. And finally, the number of neutrons is going to be our mass number minus our atomic number. So remember, mass number is the atomic mass rounded to the nearest whole number. So that would be 32 minus our atomic number of 16 which gives us 16 neutrons. So sulfur has 16 protons, 16 electrons, and 16 neutrons. One more example, we've got sodium. So sodium has a chemical symbol Na. Its name is uh, sodium. We've got an atomic number of 11, and we've got a atomic mass of 22.99. So looking again, number of protons, is equal to the atomic number, which is equal to 11 here. Number of electrons in a neutral atom of sodium is also equal to the atomic number, which is 11. And finally, the number of neutrons is equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. So remember, we're taking 22.99, rounding it off to the nearest whole number, so that would be 23 minus our atomic number, which is 11. And so we do 23 minus 11, which gives us 12 neutrons. So sodium has 11 protons, 11 electrons, and 12 neutrons. That's it then for this video. That wraps it up. Let's move on to our next task.